let's fucking go. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, just gonna give a small intro for everyone that's watching. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in today. This is a brand new series that I'm starting, yep. and it's called Small YouTuber Interview. So what we've done before is we've already we've already featured in Zinni's channel. I don't know, am I pronouncing that correctly? Yeah, you are. You're actually the first person in a long time that's uh, actually pronounced it correctly, which is amazing. Yeah, in Zingy. Okay, cool. so, hopefully, uh, the link will be in the description, hopefully. Yes, yes, definitely. I'm going to put a link to the channel in the description as usual. And uh, right, so we've got in Zingy here on Skype. And uh, this is a new series that I'm going to do. And it's about interviewing small YouTubers and just finding, uh, finding out more about their channels. So... Right, I just, once again, I want to thank you so much for your time. Yeah, you too, uh, man. For agreeing to do this interview with me. And, you know, the first thing that I want to ask you is, uh, you always look so confident behind the camera. So what's your secret there? Yeah, you got to be confident. you got to go in the mindset that you're 100%, you're smashing YouTube. Like, it doesn't matter if you're small, if you're a small creator or a big creator. Then the day, you wanna, I want to get to a certain level where I'm... Um, recognize like i want to be successful so you gotta have that mindset and i think it's something you develop like at, at the start when you're making videos you're like you're quiet you're not you're a bit intimidated you're not you're not there with it yeah. but then over time you're more confident and you get motivated like com like the viewers and giving you love all that it's good man yeah yeah no i i totally i agree with that and i think that you know um that's a very good tip yeah. You know, as well for someone that's interested in becoming a YouTuber and starting out. So, um, you know, the thing that I really love about your channel is that I see you've got a lot of variety. Yeah, absolutely. It, you know, and for me, that's a great thing because, and I always say this in my videos as well, sometimes you want to watch the same YouTuber, but you want to see them doing something else, you know? Yeah, you want to see them doing different things because a lot of YouTubers I watch, like, the ones I'm more attached to and what's, like, more is that, I'm thinking, oh, what would it be like if they done that? Because if you dedicate your whole channel to do gaming, unfortunately, unless you're Ninja or someone, it's very hard to become big on that. Or if you're just sticking to one thing, it gets a bit same if you're boring. So that's why you've got to dive into loads of different areas on YouTube. Yes, uh, yes, I agree with that. And, uh, right, so what I want to find out from you is where do you get your ideas from, you know? Uh, what, what inspires you? To, to make a new video and you know to, to try something new yeah good question uh well yeah as i said the ideas all comes from the brain i, I write it down all on my phone literally have notes on here on my phone that i just write down uh constantly i watch a lot of youtube i watch a lot of youtube uh, especially like during the, at night so i get inspiration from certain people but then uh, a lot of things that small creators do is you can't, and I I can vouch for it because I've done it. You can't copy people. You can take inspiration from people and think, okay, I'll, I'll maybe I do a bit of this, but then you have your own spin on it. You know what I mean? So, I think I think something I've learned is that I used to back in the day, if I'm a creative vid, I'm no longer on my channel, I just try be like somebody, like try be like I don't know a KSI or try be like a certain YouTuber, and people see through it, man. Like you just gotta be yourself, and people respect that for you in the long term. And what was the other question? So, um, yeah, no, I just wanted to know where do you get your ideas from for the videos. But what I want to know now yeah. is, uh, you know, because I've watched some of your gaming videos and the way you stream. And I have to say, um, I really like the way you do the commentary. And I like, I like the, the way that you stream the games and that you like stay in touch, you know. Uh, so that's very cool. But what is your favorite game? Oh, my favourite game. At the moment, it probably wouldn't be Fortnite. It would probably be, because, uh, it's probably the new Spider-Man game is pretty lit. Yeah. It's it's good, it's good, it's so good. But, yeah, as well as, obviously, Fortnite, like, you can't, it's one of those games, it's just, it's, blow, it's blown up so big recently, in the last year or so. And, yeah, you just, you get, you get hooked on it, it's addicted. Uh, oh, I've just had another subscriber here. Make sure you subscribe. You've got always plug. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, it's about. I mean, games. I've always been into games from very young. Like just e like any console. I used to even play. I think the first ever console I've ha I had was a. It must have been like a GameCube or something or PS One something like that. So yeah, I've always been into gaming. So would you say? Would you say that 
have like for streaming Fortnite is your favorite game or is it just hands down right now the game that you're just into at this time? Yeah, I'll say I'll, yeah, I'll probably say both to that question because it's okay. even like right now it's probably the best thing uh, to be uploading for two reasons. First of all, it's it's trendy and it and it does like people are enjoying that. And second of all, not even just for that for yourself, it's just enjoyable. But then again, you get uh, with that comes a lot of rage, as you know, uh, yes. from people because it's it's a bit annoying at times. But then again, you have to step away at sometimes. You have to. That's why if I that's why I say I don't just do uh, just gaming. I do other things. I, I'm I, at the moment. I like to do more real life videos. Because it gets more views. Like my recent, I think my recent uh, two videos, one on Bad Neighbours and one on the, the one on Bad Neighbours are looking now. It's got 875 views, and that's been out for a week. So that just tells you everything you need to know about that. And then the other one about the Supreme, what's in the bouncy ball, has got uh, how many has it got? 839 views. So. Wow. Okay. So that's very cool. So if I can ask you. Uh, why did you get into YouTube in the first place? You know, what made you decide to become a content creator? Uh, it probably sounds cliche, but I'm passionate yeah. about it first of all. But also, I feel like I need to do this. There's, I mean, I've been, I went to school, uh, been to college for a year. Uh, I am still doing an apprenticeship in the meantime at the moment. But like, even my apprenticeship is in social, mar uh, social media and digital marketing. So it's still within that, within that era of like, because. I, I just don't like the idea of, and it's no no offense to anyone who has a job, but to have a just a stable job where you earn, where you're you have a stable income, and it, you can only maximize it by a little bit while you're um, if you get promotion or something. But YouTube just opens so many doors for you. Like at the moment, there's projects I'm working on. I'm doing music. Uh, I'm doing obviously YouTube. I'm making mini movies. Uh, I'm do, I'm doing. You, you can get into so many things. And the top creators, you see how they get into everything. They do movies. They they basically can do everything. Boxing, as you know, there's so much that people yeah. do. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, the thing is, what I found on YouTube, you know, it's, uh, it's really a platform for people who are very creative. Mm -hmm. So, what I want to ask is, you know, when it comes to your fans, your audience, your viewers, uh, you know, do you get, like... Um, you know, do you, how do you feel about negative comments? Uh, you, you can't, you can't, you, you can't just, you can't lie to yourself at, at the start, and even now, to be honest, you get a hate comment, it hurts, you know, it like, it, 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 people don't realise that, people thinking, oh, it's just nothing, it's a comment, but you still take it on board, and it's still in your mind, even if you ignore it, but at the same time, over time, you realise that, there's, it's, it's, you're gonna get so much hate, no matter what, what, what creators you are. The top creators probably get the most hate. Logan Paul, for example, he gets a lot of hate. Uh, but it's not even about that. It's just you're gonna get a lot of hate with it. You have to deal with it. You gotta have to have thick skin. That's the number one thing I'd recommend to creators. Thick skin is a, a massive thing you need to have. But then you gotta realize that who is saying that? If it's someone that you respect and you look up to, then you take it on board. But if it's someone that is just saying that because they have nothing to do with their time or they're jealous or like, for whatever reason, I'm saying, the, then you just you move on and you do your thing. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's very true what you're saying. So, would you consider yourself yourself as someone who can like, you know, who can accept? criticism and you know who's very good with dealing with criticism yeah at the mo at the moment the last year or so uh yes i wasn't before like you can imagine like even one hate comment or something that like, one of my friends would say or something that someone else would say like it would affect me so much but a lot of the time you got yeah uh, you got to look into what they're saying and you got to actually you should you got to admit like if it's true then you can work on that like sometimes i overthink things like oh they're saying this which means oh, i'm bad but you got to look into it. whatever they're saying. They're saying it for a reason. Either if they're saying it just for hate, then you just disregard that comment. You think okay, but yeah, gen, gen uh, generally the on my chat at the moment, like the, the like the the love comments and all the nice comments from everyone is over flooding the hate comments. Yes, but I I'm, I'm not surprised because I mean you've got such great content on your channel. Cheers, man. And especially I I I really enjoy watching your channel a lot. Yeah. So. I you know, appreciate um, that. What, I, what I also want to ask you is if there are, like, for the viewers, you know, uh, that are watching this interview or that are watching your videos, um, you know, where, where is the best place to 
like contact or reach out to you on social media? You know, where's the best way to like follow you on uh, social, social media platform? Uh, well, if you want to count YouTube as a platform, obviously that's the main one. I'm on YouTube. You can comment down below on all of my videos. But uh, yeah, aside from that though, uh, I yeah. would say in terms of interaction with audience, Twitter. Twitter is a big one where it's more like people people can tweet you, they can follow you, so you can follow me on my on my Twitter, which which might be linked down below. Yeah, guys, uh, definitely, definitely, and uh, right, but. Um, that is that's about all the questions and mm. the time that I have for today. But I just want to say thank you so much for you know doing this call with Absolutely, me. Absolutely, man. Um, I appreciate it as well. I appreciate getting yeah. recognised by people. It's yeah, it's a, it's it's like something new to get used to, but it's good. It's good. It's it, yeah. it's te it shows I'm doing something well at least. Hey. Yes, yes. You know, um, I found your channel on the small YouTuber hashtag. Mm. And uh, that's one place where I really like to, to go to get small content creators. But yeah, absolutely. I'm really hoping for you that you won't stay small, that you'll become a really big thing on YouTube. Trust me, and, I uh, will. And this video right now will be played back. I'm going to download this video in case it ever goes down. This video will be played back. Like I And it's, you have to have that mindset. It's not it's not even cockiness, I guess, because you always got to be humble. Any, anything you do, yeah. you'll respect your peers. you got to respect... You've got to respect everyone that's made you in your position, but I will become a top creator, and that's that's the way I see it. But that's good. It's good to have goals. It's good to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're growing, then you know you're doing something right. Yeah. And uh, yes, I, for, my, for me, um, I, you have my support. Yeah, and, thank you, know, you, man. I really, I really hope that you'll go far. And, you know, I can't wait to see your next video that you're going to upload. Yeah, so, it's out. Okay, it's so coming out today. Well, by the time this is okay. out, it probably would all have been out. So yeah, whatever's on my channel, that would be it basically. I also want to ask you something as well. Uh, where do you see uh, yourself and your channel going? Because I, to be honest, I've never. It's it's something new what you do. Like you're like investigating and looking into small channels, which is is amazing. Because a lot of people disregard small channels and just think, oh well, they're not big, so they're not good. But you're doing a good thing for small YouTubers, getting them recognised and helping them out, man. The reason why I started this is just because you know I got kind of frustrated on like YouTube. They they give you these recommendations, but none of it is you know. Because YouTube is actually like a blogging site, so mm -hmm. you want to see, you want to see actual, I mean, you don't want to see all this, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff that I don't really care about that they recommend to me, and then also it's the same videos over and over. Yeah. I feel like I've, I feel like I've seen them a hundred times. Yeah, once you see, once you see them once, especially like... It's not it's not shots fired at anyone, but especially like someone like I don't know like vloggers and stuff like that. Which I've I've done vlogs before, but some 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 videos are just the same over and over again. Like if you've seen about three or four, then you've seen them all really. Uh, so yeah, you got you all you got to, to be uh, top top tips from me. You have got to be with the times. You got to be what is the latest thing? What is the latest thing? You got to keep moving on. If you stand the same thing, then it gets stale. Uh, like people move on easily. Like for example, with Fortnite, it's good now, but in a year's time, I don't. It's like I don't think it will it will die down a bit because people will get bored of it. So you're gonna have to move on to the next thing. Like you know, Sh uh, Shane Dawson is doing a series at the moment. Yeah, that's that's really uh, that's something new to the platform. That's really good. So you've always got to be creative and think outside the box. Like what haven't people seen? And it's hard because everyone's done everything on YouTube. But I think a main point is as well is that a lot of people say you got to be creative on YouTube. That's true. But at the same time, people have made it by just doing other people's content. I think it's more about you. It doesn't matter what you do. It's about your personality, yeah. I feel like, anyway. What I have found, it's about the audience. You know, the thing that makes YouTube great is the fact that the audience can connect with the YouTuber. Yeah. Whereas on TV, you can't, you know, you don't have that kind of fan-actor relationship. But on yeah. YouTube... Uh, anyone can reach you, stay in touch with you, have a go put a comment and get a reply, you know, and that, that makes it a special kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know, but I found videos on the internet, on YouTube, they've been, they've been just sitting there for 10 years, no one's ever, no views, yeah. you know, and some of the content was amazing, Yeah, I know. Some, of, some of it was not as good. 
But the, what I'm trying to say is there's so much on the YouTube platform that people haven't even, they're not even aware of, you know, and this is why I started the series to kind of like get exposure on that because yeah. how does it help? You've got millions of videos and no one viewing it. And I have to say, um, you know, your channel, uh, when I found it, it already had some views, but you know, I consider it one of the treasures. One of the treasures that I found on the YouTube Explore series, and yeah. you know, this isn't just a one-off thing. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna revisit you. I'm hoping to revisit you in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Quite considerably, you know, and then we can look back on all of this and see what what the journey was. Yeah, it's it's it'll it'll all be a long journey, but it's only, it's only just begun. That's it. It's only just begun, yeah. man. And yeah, this. There's so much to it. I think it's so hard now because uh, back in the day, I was saying back in the day, it was years ago, but at the start of YouTube, when obviously I wasn't creating videos, but uh, when there was like small, cre when there was creators, yeah, there would un it would be it would be more easier like about five, six, seven years ago to get bigger. But now it's so hard. It's the, it's the platform's so saturated that I, I think it's it's just like it's unfair on small creators. And I think YouTube are, they're trying a little bit, but YouTube have. Part of my language, but they fucked things up to be honest. But uh, yeah, yeah, they've they've messed things up because uh, they yeah they made it harder for small creators to like for example to get to monetize your videos to get paid. Now you need like oh, what is it like a uh, thousand subscribers now or ten thousand, and you need like four thousand watch hours a month or year, and that's obviously hard for small creators because you need to build up. But yeah, a main uh, it's very hard. But the main tip is be consistent. That's what I've realized because I was realizing before that. Even though I'd make good content, I if I post once a month or like, there's no point. You got to post content uh, consistently, whether that's one a day or even even if it's one a week, yeah. If it, and it's a really good video, that's still consistently, but like, constantly on the grind, always thinking of uh, new ideas and new content. So yeah. But it's it was really a pleasure speaking to you today. You have yeah, a great you too. personality. You always, you always seem so positive and confident, and you know I like that. I like yeah. to see that because you know it makes me feel like you know uh, you enjoy what you're doing. And yeah, absolutely. It's, it's it is a dream. Like as though, uh, although I'm not getting what I'm kind of getting back for it, but even the feeling, even if I don't get any views in a video, the feeling of making a video yourself, editing it, and knowing that even a few people like it, it's a good feeling. So it's lit. Yeah, and, uh, I really admire you for editing your videos because yeah. you know I I don't think since I've started I've ever edited one video. Yeah. You know. Uh, so when I can see people putting in this effort, it really gives me a lot of respect for them. As yeah, creators. it's good. Hard work pays off, as they say, and you you'll see that in the future. So. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I think that's it for today's episode, guys. I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you want to come by and visit this channel. Got some amazing stuff there. Subscribe. Well, you can come support him. You can follow him on Twitter. Thank you so much for your time. It's been awesome, and um, I can't wait to see your next video. Yeah. So yes, have a wonderful day. Stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Watch this space, and uh, guys, some great stuff coming here in the future. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you so much, Inzini. Have a nice day. Right. Wow, that was awesome, man. I appreciate that so much. That was good. And he's left like that. <laughs>